There we go. Woo! There's Whoa. everybody. <gasps> That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. And if you look right here, this indicates right here that she is a female. So here we have Papa Smurf. We're about to add him right now. Whee! The moment you all have been waiting for, guys, Slayers, it's time to meet Snowball, our pregnant white lobster. <laughs> Hello, Captain America. What's going on? And hello, Pearl. Pearl, no Pearl. Now, guys, as you can see right here, Pearl is no longer with us because if you didn't check out the last episode, I went ahead and bred Pearl with Catch 'Em All Fishing's massive blue lobster. It wasn't a success. It actually it went really, really wrong. But in the process of doing that, we discovered something amazing, something insane. We now have white lobster crawfish eggs that is correct so what we're going to be doing today is making sure that we put her in a home that is perfect pristine that when the babies hatch they don't get sucked away so before we go ahead and jump into that i want to go ahead and congratulate the winner of the hidden sticker challenge Congratulations to you, you went ahead and answered all the questions correctly and found those hidden stickers. Slayers, if you want to go ahead and get shout out in the beginning of the next video, be sure to find those hidden stickers and answer the questions at the end of the video correctly. Now, let's get right into it. So Slayers, since Captain America no longer has a battle buddy inside here, we're going to go ahead and be moving Papa Smurf. <laughs> Papa Smurf is going to go ahead and live here, so this is going to be my male only crawfish tank. And on top of that, what we're going to go ahead and do as well is actually choose one of the baby blue crawfish and raise them up to be a beautiful, strong female crawfish to breed with either Captain America, which is over here, or Papa Smurf. So first things first, we're going to have to move Papa Smurf into this tank and then move him back over there to the craw cave. Well, hello, it's Papa Smurf. Now his other crog grew back because he's molted and he's doing good. He's doing good. He's not doing too bad, too shabby at all. So buddy, are you ready? Are you ready to go ahead and get into your new home? Let's do it. So here we have Papa Smurf guys. And Papa Smurf is a very, very special crawfish. We went ahead and saved him from being eaten at that very international food market. So the water temperatures to this tank are about the same. And we're gonna go ahead and just add him quickly and safely once he stops walking all over the place. So here we have Papa Smurf, we're about to add him right now. Whee! So now you have a neighbor, Captain America. We got one, we got two, now three, and here is four. So guys, we are here in the crawl cave. This has turned into the crawl cave. Every single tank will have a beautiful crawfish, that is correct. So guys, this is the craw cave. I'm super excited to be having all the crawfish in the same enclosure. So you look like you want a little home, right? Does, does he need a home? I think he needs it. He needs a home? Hold on one moment, we'll get you a home. Okay, Papa Smurf, are you ready for your new home? Here is your new home, these two rocks. I believe these perfectly fit together. If I go ahead and put this one this way, so that way, hmm, I believe it's like this. Think some, something like that. We'll put it together, but this is gonna be his new home. It's gonna be pretty close to Captain America's because like Captain America likes to bury himself, but he comes out to eat. All right, guys, and as you can see, Papa Smurf loves his new decorations. He'll probably bury himself under this right here, just like Captain America did, but uh, we're pretty much good to go. And while we're here, let's go ahead and take a look at our blue lobster crawfish babies. So as you can see, we have a ton. We have a ton, we have one, two three uh, four five six we have a whole bunch still even though we went ahead and donated a whole bunch i think we have more in this cave here we have stuff over here oh yeah we have more so i need to find the strongest women to go ahead and live in this tank right here we're gonna go ahead and raise her up in this tank because this tank is a lot safer for our beautiful white lobster named Snowball that has eggs and it's safer to go ahead and allocate the babies when they hatch in here than anywhere else. I know the system very, very well. And worst case, they go ahead and go inside of this little chute right there and fall all the way in the back and I can save them. Here is kind of hard to save. And right now, Snowball is in a very special place. We're gonna go and check her out in a second, but first we need to go ahead and find the perfect blue lobster crawfish that we're gonna go ahead and raise up from baby to breeding size for Papa Smurf or Captain America 
or both, you know? All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and lift this up really quick and see if we can get our female lobster. Oh boy. There we go. Woo! There's Whoa. everybody. <gasps> That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one that I think is a female. You're the chosen one. You are chosen. She is perfect. She is blue as can be. This way. Nope. Nope. Oh my gosh. Where'd you go? I don't know. Oh, she's over here. I'll bring her up here. She's on this side, baby. Where'd you go? Hello? All the way in the back. Oh, 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 she's right here. She's right here. So as you can see, all the food that I just dropped earlier is getting all over the place, but they're going to clean it. Crawfish are notorious tank cleaners. Man, you should have got a bigger net. Yes, Ooh, got, her. got her. Perfect. So I'm going to put this down real quick, and I'm going to show you how to sex your crawfish again. Whoa, this baby lobster is very, very active. So I need to make sure to secure the claws as well as not injure this one. So we're gonna check if this one's a female. And if you look right here, this indicates right here that she is a female. Males will have something else there, but that's a female. Perfect, we have our female blue lobster. We're gonna raise up to breed, which I'm so excited about. Cool thing is I don't have to go ahead and acclimate her because all the water is the same temperature. So we're gonna add her into her new home. Here you go. Be free, my friend. Wee! <laughs> so yeah, she has a massive home for herself now to grow, and we're gonna power feed her, get everything she needs, so that she can get right to it, get to breeding as soon as Papa Smurf is ready, and she's ready, we're gonna make more blue lobster babies. All right, so this is the notorious pot that Crayola used to lay her babies in, and I actually got two, so I have one, not only four, this one right here. So guys, I need a name for my beautiful blue lobster right here. This female, I need a name for. Her. So in the comments below, please name her. I'll be looking out for those. And on top of that, we're gonna have another pot for Snowball, which we're gonna check out in a moment. But right now, for the time being, we're gonna go ahead and add this beautiful pot, which has never failed me. So we're just gonna lay that right there. Crayfish love to hide, especially the blue lobsters. And she'll be trained to come out and eat whenever she's ready soon enough. So it's it's only it's gonna take some time. This is a whole new enclosure for her, but she's really active. She's so cute. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so guys, long-term plans when you're making lobster babies, I recommend you either um, keep them, sell them, or you know, feed them to your pets. But what I'm gonna be doing with these ones over here is eventually we're gonna be doing a really cool crawfish only tank or pond. I mean, it's already a crawfish only tank, but these are my babies. So I'm gonna expand the tank and stuff and that's gonna be for another video. So be ready, turn on those post notifications, check it out because we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff with our baby crawfish. So now that we have everything here, it is time to check on Snowball. The moment you all have been waiting for guys, Slayers, it's time to meet Snowball, our pregnant, white lobster if you look from above she decided to go ahead and make a serious burrow right there now this tank is really big for her. it's perfect for a crawfish it's 15 gallons however it's not a good tank to be able to monitor her at because i cannot see if the eggs are going to hatch how they're hatching as well as the intake is way too big for those baby lobsters and they get sucked in so what we're going to go ahead and do today is get her a brand new aquarium whoa Get her a brand new aquarium. These babies are getting a brand new home aquarium so that they can go and hatch, be free, just like I did with the blue lobsters. And as you can see, they're almost done hatching. They're all white, beautiful white lobsters right there, guys. So I need to be very careful, very cautious. Bear with me while I go ahead and get her out. I usually will show everything, but I don't want to go ahead and disturb her too much. All right, Slayers, so we got her out and I'm going to secure her claws. She's very defensive right now because she's trying to protect her babies. But we're gonna look under. And if you look under right here, right now, look at those beady eyes right there, guys. Look at those beady eyes. Those are white lobster babies. So they're in the process of right now of hatching. So I would love to show you more of those eggs because this is the first time that I'm going ahead and hatching white lobster eggs. But I don't wanna stress her out because they're right there. Probably about a week or two, they're gonna hatch. So instead of trying to show you and her flinging the eggs off, I'm gonna just add her to the aquarium safely right now. Let's go ahead and take one more final look at our beautiful white lobster right now. 
Wow, amazing. So we're just gonna let her crawl in just like this. Go ahead. Oh yeah, she's holding on. <laughs> and just Aww. like that, she's in. She's in, take a look at those eggs developing. Wow, that's amazing. This is out of this world. Albino white lobsters. Apparently they're very, very rare, one in three million. And look at these babies right here, if I can get them to focus. She's in the perfect spot for me not to look at those babies. Come on, look at that. That is out of this world. They're developing. Those are the heads with the eyes and everything. Wow, what a beautiful world we live in. <laughs> it gets better and better every single time I make these babies. We might have to do red ones in the future. What do you think, Lily? I was waiting for that. Okay, <laughs> I'm done. I gotta do red ones too. But look at this. This is absolutely insane, those eyes. These little baby eyes. Honestly, guys, the camera doesn't do it justice. You gotta see it like in person. She's beautiful, she's white, she's very translucent and everything. But these babies though, look at them. She's moving so fast and trying to keep up. Ah, oh, dude, she's so white. And those eggs, oh my word! This is insane. So I wanna go ahead and also give her a pot similar to our little blue one. Our little blue one's already in the pot. Hello? Hello? Let's go ahead and turn this on and check out. Papa Smurf, how you doing, buddy? Captain America's in his hole as well. I think they're hungry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to feed them? I'm hungry. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get that real quick. I love these pellets. These are amazing sinking carnivore pellets. Let me just get two. One, two. Oh, three. I'll, I'll take three. Four. What we got? We got four. We got four. No problem. We'll go ahead and turn on our baby right here. Hello. Guys, she is so adorable. Let's see what happens. Drop. Wee! Spooked. You soon will be trained eventually, my child. It's okay. You'll find it. It's over here. So we're going to leave that there. She's going to learn how to eat from right here. We're going to go ahead and see what Captain America does. Captain America, smell it. Come out. Come out of your hole, my child. If you look at his antennas, he senses it. Oh, it's right in front of him. Why are you so lame? Every time I record, you don't want to eat on camera, but you're alive because I feed you. Lame-o. Let's go ahead and get this guy. Papa Smurf. Wee! I don't know if he's going to eat right now on camera because he just got into a new enclosure. He smells it, though. He smells it. Well, so much for an epic little crawfish feeding video. Let's go ahead and get back to what matters. And that is our white lobster babies. Look at her. Oh, She's wow. So She's so pretty. She's so gorgeous. This is this is something you don't see every day right now. Yeah. And what I have here too is a beautiful pot. Hey, what's this doing here? Okay, okay can, you, can you get that off for me? Sure. We're not putting that with her. Thanks, perfect. So we take this off right here. Here you go. Thank you. And we're gonna add her new little breeding pot where all our white lobsters will live perfectly. Let's do this without squishing her. Hey, you don't have to defend yourself. This is your new home. This is your new home. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. You'll go ahead, go inside, and you'll usually chill right here. And we'll look at your babies. She is amazing. Good job, Snowball. Good job being a mom. All right, Slayers, one final look at her babies. Look at those eyes. One's actually hatching as we speak, breathing. Oh my God. Oh my word, that one has its antennas and everything. Well guys, that's gonna do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. This is absolutely amazing that we went ahead and did this on this channel. Guys, if you do not wanna miss out on watching these white lobsters hatch, turn on those post notifications, guys. Like and subscribe. If you haven't joined the family, join the Slayers. We are growing. We're almost at 250 thousand subscribers guys and i couldn't have done it without each and every one of you now guys if you want to go ahead and get shouted out in the beginning of the next video answer the three following questions question number one how many stickers did i use question number two what color were those stickers and the final question question number three what color are the lobster crawfish babies we're about to have and if you answer all of those questions you'll be shouted out in the beginning of the next video and i'll see you in the next adventure booyah